Happy Memorial Day, everybody. I'm already starting to itch. Welcome, welcome to this edition of Monday Musings. Some of you were in my earlier TikTok live, so welcome, welcome. It was a gorgeous day today, and I got a beautiful heart in the sky today. Hey, Paul. Welcome, welcome. Look what I'm wearing. <laughs> Paul bought me this shirt. No spammy the pammy. <laughs> it's one of my most prized gifts ever. Look at that. Oh, if you guys can see it, no spammy the pammy. <laughs> I get spammed a lot on my lives. Um, you know, got trolls and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, I did a talk, TikTok, talk, talk, TikTok live earlier. Um, at least the room was a little bit more manageable, although there was still a lot of people in there. Um, and thank you guys for sharing out the live. I do want to remind you guys that this is my only account. Lately, when we've been going live, there's been fake accounts that want to start following you all. Please ignore that. Do not fall prey to that. Business pages cannot send you a friend request. That is scammers trying to get your attention and they're fakes, okay? So welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. Just gonna wait for maybe a few more people to pop in. Um, check it out, I brought the big guns out. Look at how big that Tibetan bowl is. This is my little small one. <laughs> yeah, TikTok, you know, I'm staying focused when I'm on TikTok. I, I know that sometimes there's, you know, well over a thousand people. I stay focused on what I need to do and not worry about that. I have moderators that take care of me. Uh, some of my moderators are in here right now. And they have my back. And I go into their lives and I have their back. So, we've got enough people in here. Um, this one's pretty powerful. So, you got, and there's Jeff. Oh my gosh, there's Jeff popping in. Watch this. This is my Jeff. This is my big one, my big guns. the one that I can go around the bowl but this one I love Woo! did you guys feel that did you guys feel that Woo! it's a strong one and lately with some of the scammers and trolls that have been happening in my TikTok lives I need the big gun <laughs> welcome everybody uh, yeah it's vibrating your phone <laughs> My dog doesn't appreciate it. She's like, I, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. So yeah, earlier I stepped outside. I went shopping, didn't find anything for me. Found some things for the dog, and that's okay. Uh, stepped outside, and there was a heart in the cloud, um, a heart cloud in the sky. We're having Memorial Day here in Arizona and the United States. Wherever you guys are from, let me know where you're all from. Welcome, welcome. So, Jeff Lauren is in the house. Um, if you guys are on TikTok, follow him. He's known as Ziggy Booten, B-O-U-T-I-N, on TikTok. 
um, Paul is in here. He is known as, um, well, I call him Papa Polly. Papa Polly. Um, Jeff and uh, those of you that are my mods on TikTok, put your uh, username in here on TikTok for people to follow you. Oh gosh, you can follow me on TikTok too. I'm known as Psychic Medium Pam Sears. Canada, Ohio, Michigan, Illinois, Massachusetts, Canada again. There you go. There's Ziggy Booten. There it is. Papa Polly. There you go. Follow him. Uh, for me, it's Psychic Medium Pam Sears. Also on TikTok, I only have one account. Uh, oh, and there's Lisa. She is another one of my sweet mods. Uh, welcome the other Pam One. We call her Pam One, and I'm Pam Two. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, this was a gift from Polly and Lisa. They ordered this shirt for me. No spammy the Pammy. <laughs> Spammers are like crazy because sometimes I have I had seventeen hundred on my live one time in TikTok, and the sp the spamming was just like boom boom. That's right, Embalmer. She was part of this. She sent me some beautiful gifts also. So, yes, there's Lisa. She's Embalmer on TikTok. Follow her. Uh, yeah, no, no spamming. No spamming. You guys, I put a video on my TikTok, and it is on fire because it was talking about <laughs> spiritual awakening, and this guy's jumping out of the bed, and it's 11-11, and he's late. Oh, my God, if you haven't seen it. <laughs> anyway, all right, so I've already done the Tibetan bowl thing. Um, oh, wow, Jesse, Pam is awesome. She told me to look out for balloons, and two days later at a party, the balloons kept getting stuck on me. Your brother was there, like I told you. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh and there's amanda amanda's another one of my mods on tiktok amanda put your tiktok name in here as well you love my pink glasses thank you all right so i'm gonna pull a collective for everybody first okay i'm gonna do something i started on tiktok because spirit told me to do it i'm gonna do a collective for all of us first i'm going to be doing um Cards by groups. Isn't that cool? Um, Jody, sweetheart, I don't do health questions. Um, guys, just so you know, I don't do health questions. I don't do fertility or pregnancy questions. That's between God and you. That's how I, I see it. Um, so stick around for the group readings, uh, the group cards. I'm going to be doing 18 to 30. 31 to 50, 51 to 70, and then 71 on up. But let's see what Spirit has for all of us collectively as a group. I don't think any of us are doing enough play time. We work and work and work. And we don't stop and listen. It's like play time. Hello, hello. Okay. Um, so, and today would have been a day to go out and, well, it's Memorial Day and it's about honoring those that have fallen and, um, lost their lives protecting our country. Um, however, um, for those of you that are working too hard and I am also speaking to Pam One, you know what I'm talking about. You work too hard. You need to go out and have some fun. Okay, that is the first collective. I'm going to pull a second collective. And my last live today on TikTok, I had six people claim the same, well, not the same spirit. It's a piggyback. Each of their own spirits came through um, and it's similar to what I was giving all the details when you give up. Well, you guys have seen me do piggyback. Now, Embalmer is in here and Polly's in here. These two, I am so connected to, they're always having their loved one show up. And today, each of them had another loved one. Okay. Don't know what this, this is the editor card that I pulled. 
It says, your writing or other creative project benefits from outside help and support. Okay, I don't know what the, that's about. Because the other card was about going out and playing. Now, this may be for some of you that are starting something new, a new project, new work, that it gets help from outside sources. So, guys, you must be 18 or over to get a reading in here. I do pull by spirit guidance. If spirit shows up, looks like we might have one. <clears throat> Okay, I guess we have a spirit popping in. So now after I'm done with this particular connection, I will do the groups 18 to 30, 31 to 50, 51 to 70, 71 on up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> um I'm. Start, oh, thank you for the help, Ziggy, Jeff, Jeff Lauren. Thank you, Ziggy. Guys, follow him as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've been trying to come on earlier. Instead of 6.30, I'm trying to come on at 5 o'clock now. Just, I was trying to, I was trying to beat ahead of the trolls and scammers. <laughs> um, okay. I'm a little confused here. I am... I go back and forth between picking up a male and a female. I might have two of them together. That's why I'm a little bit confused, okay? I do have, um, all right, one of these, they passed from something in the blood. Something in the blood. I'm seeing uh, three females connected to this. I think it's a couple coming through. Usually it's one person, but it looks like I've got a male and a female. Um, one of them is saying three females... So that would be maybe three sisters. Um, so they pass from something in the blood. Uh, that could be diabetes. Uh, it could be an autoimmune system. It could be a stroke. I'm picking up the month of September. I'm picking up the name Charles. And I'm picking up the name Eddie. And an S-U. S-U. Let me see what else I've got. Also, I'm, I think it's a bicycle. I'm seeing a bicycle. When I see a bicycle, it reminds me of a mountain bike. Okay? So this person might have been at some point, or someone on earth is big into mountain biking. Okay? Um, okay, interesting. Okay. It's definitely a male and a female, and I do believe that they were strongly connected as if they were married, okay? It's so interesting. I rarely get two show up at the same time. Um, I believe one crossed a long time in between. Like, one went and then the other stayed a long time on earth before it was their turn to cross. Um, I'm being shown a bridge, so... Bridges tell me somebody either lived in an area where they always had to cross a bridge or they took a long trip where there was an important bridge. Um, and welcome all you new people. Welcome, welcome. Um, so if anyone can take this, let me know. I will probably be putting it on my YouTube. Speaking of that, guys, go follow me on my YouTube. I'm up to 600 people. I need a 1,000 to do my free lives on YouTube. So... Um, it's Pam Sears Psychic Medium on YouTube. All right, so let me give this again. I, I'm not perfect with names, okay? But I thought I saw Charles, Eddie, the month of September. There's a male and a female that seem to be very strongly connected. They're either married or they're a brother and sister. They're connected to three females. Um, some, they passed with something in the blood. They're showing me a bridge and a bicycle, like a mountain bike. So let me know. Hopefully I don't freeze on here, guys. I've been having some internet issues. Go figure. I'm kind of in an area where, um, okay. So 
No spammy the pammy. No spammy the pammy. <laughs> Polly in here and Lisa both sent me this shirt because they're always in my lives as my moderators having to deal with all the spammers. So, uh, let's see if this, somebody can take this. Ah, okay, Aaron, Aaron, your name is spelled so interesting, A-R-I-N. Okay, your dad and his life partner, they never married, dad passed before her. When I went to visit my dad, there was a large bridge, quarry, September is my daughter's birthday, I have a twin sister and an older sister. Okay, this reading is for you. All right, so some of y'all may be getting um, <clears throat> postcards, okay? Um, meaning I'm not directly reading you, but your loved ones popping in and giving quick little flyby messages. Um, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, it could be a grandpa and a grandma, but it looks like Erin has taken all of this, which is really exciting for her, I'm sure. Let me see. Okay, um, you validated everything. Can you, can you come up with S-U? Who is S-U? Now, that could be somebody's initials, or it could be short for Susan, Sunny. Uh, <clears throat> you resonate with all but the bike. That's okay, Edie. Um, Edie, if you want, because you resonate with everything except for the bike, and the bike could be a motorcycle, but it looked to me more like a bike. Eddie, Edie, and Aaron, you may both talk to me in all caps, Okay. Now, let's see. Um, all right. So, uh, somebody, could I repeat it? Um, Charles, Eddie. Um, September. Um, a, three females. They pass, somebody passed from a blood uh, issue. The, there's an SU name. There's a bicycle, possibly mountain bike might be a motorcycle and I'm being shown a bridge um oh well you know what if his life partner was Shirley you know sometimes like I said I don't always do really nail well with names so the SU could de definitely be the Shirley versus the SU because I thought it might have been Susan that's okay um I don't know which one of them passed from the blood. Um, all right. Someone just got high honors. Somebody, they were there, they celebrated. Somebody just got high honors. I don't know if it's college, high school, or eighth grade that they graduated from. Well, I'm assuming they graduated. It could be college. Maybe they got a certificate. Somebody just got high honors. That's between Aaron and Ed Edie. There may be somebody else that's going to get a postcard from this. High honors. Um, unless Aaron and Edie, you were the ones that got high honors. Okay? And you guys have to understand, sometimes it takes a little longer on the news feed uh, for, you know, them to pop up with some validation. Um, let me see what else. Yeah, it's interesting that the two couple have come through together. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Just in the middle of a uh, connecting to spirit. Usually one person comes in and the other one shows up. Uh, okay, you're not sure how she passed, but he passed from congestive heart failure. Yeah, something within the blood. There's something in the blood. That could be his partner. Um, okay, so I definitely have to talk about the high honors. That is very, very important for them. Um, I think that these two were so strongly connected. Um, they're talking about how they were like, I don't like to use the word soulmate lightly. I passed my recent college courses with high grades, haven't been recognized for high honors. Well, you know what? To me, that is high honors. When they come through and say high honors, that means that you did really, really well, and they're very proud of you, and they were there when it happened. 
they were there when it happened so thank you for that um he, they're also showing me um a park i don't know if where they used to live was near a park i'm being shown a park and uh playgrounds lots of grass lots of trees a big park uh that seemed to be significant so that might be a place where they remember living maybe you went to play there uh they were great friends prior to beginning their relationship they are definitely here together um there was a broken heart when the other one went first they never healed that broken heart um but they're back together doesn't matter that they weren't quote unquote married um uh, i'm also being shown um a teacher situation teacher excuse me a school situation so i don't know if one of them did any type of work at a school were they a teacher were they a librarian but i'm being shown a school uh scenario um, and actually to the side, I'm seeing a big yellow bus. So I'm going to, I'm going to give that cause that's what they're showing me. Um, okay. Who was the gardener or who is the gardener? Uh, they're showing me a very plentiful gardener. Um, my dad used to take us to something and there was a swing set and one of those metal merry-go-rounds that you spin quickly that's what yeah i was being shown something like that um okay where's the scammer there we go i blocked the scammer thank you guys can't they read the sign oh my god it says no scammer no spamming the family right in the middle of my dang reading too okay um so who is or was the gardener did i miss that while i was trying to block the scammer very plentiful very lush uh as if someone had a green thumb so that's right no spammy the pammy and welcome everybody welcome welcome to all those that have come in, I'm currently connecting um, Aaron and Edie with their spirit ones uh, from the other side. Um, yeah, lots of flowers. Um, I don't know that I'm seeing so much rose bushes, but I do see some. And yeah, welcome. I'm glad. So you're new here. Welcome, welcome. Um, I feel, I feel it was one of them. However, sometimes I've been wrong and it's one of you that is, that has a garden. So let me know if one of you are the gardener because they're definitely showing me a huge, plentiful, bountiful garden. Okay. There could be some vegetables in there. I'm not sure. I'm kind of just seeing the plants and the flowers and that type of thing. Uh, Okay, you're not sure about their gardening, but Shirley's daughter and husband have an amazing flower garden. There you go. The, okay, Aaron, let um, Shirley's daughter know that they popped in to talk about the garden, okay? It is amazing. They're showing me this amazing garden. Like I said, it doesn't always have to be someone that's on the other side, um, but it could be uh, somebody on earth. Boy, they're showing me the school and the yellow bus again. That seems to be significant. Um, welcome, everybody. Hi, Kanda. Hi, Linda. I know Linda Wolf popped in, too. Hi, Kanda. Um, so what is it? There's a school and there's a yellow bus. Now, maybe they're trying to point to the yellow bus. I am not sure. They keep bringing that up. So when they keep bringing it up, I'm going to keep sharing it. Um Somebody worked at the school, was a teacher, librarian, somebody drove a bus. I don't know, but they're bringing it back up again. So I'm giving what I hear. Uh, Shirley's daughter passed, but her husband has kept it up. Then let Shirley's, uh, uh, let, let her husband know then. 
that they popped in. Um, now, this could be an extended family that's involved. My mom drove a bus. Thank you. <laughs> okay. They kept pointing back to the bus, pointing back to the bus. Okay. Thank you for that. I knew when they keep coming back and going round and round. Okay. Um, there is also something significant about February. Oh, bless her heart, Erin. I'm sending out some hugs to her. Bless her heart. Um, oh, I'm sure her daughter's with her. Um, yeah, something about February. Now, February could also be the number two, but I'm, I'm, because that's the second month. Something significant in February. Could be a birthday, could be someone who crossed over. Um, February is your mom's birthday. Thank you for that. Okay. They both passed away in February. Edie, no way. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's, it's amazing how both of them went. Okay. Um, there, I'm also being shown, um, when they show me a stack of books, it means that somebody is a bookworm. Somebody is an avid book reader and perhaps they left behind a whole stack of of books. Yeah, this is a pretty good piggyback. I agree, Jesse. This is an interesting, um, earlier TikTok, I had six, six people on a piggyback. It was a little intense. Um, yeah, stack of books. So, uh, yeah, Amanda, isn't this incredible? So, um, there's a stack of books and one of them might have been an avid reader. One of you may be the avid reader. You might have collected a bunch of books that they left behind, the stack is huge. The stack is huge. So I'm giving that. Um, somebody was wondering if the two, there's there's two on the other side together. Um, hi, Trinity, welcome. Hi, hi sweetie. Um, somebody was wondering, since they were soulmates and the heart was broken, um, they wanted to know uh, if they found each other on the other side. And that's one of the reasons why when I started this connecting with them, normally I only get one person that comes at a time. Uh, oh, your older sister reads often and rereads the same books over and over again. There you go. Um, so, yes, somebody was worried if they found each other because they were they were just lovers and lovers, soulmates. Yes. That's why they came through together. So that's really important for whoever is worried about if they found each other. Yes. Um, like I said, I have very rarely had two people show up at the same time. Think Daniel John. Hey, we just chatted not too long ago. Everybody follow Daniel John as well. Um, he's an incredible uh, medium. We've worked actually together a little bit and I helped him at his event in Scottsdale. Um, okay. So let me see what else. Um, and Jeff, if you are still in here, you guys follow Jeff Ziggy Booten. Uh, Daniel, can you please put your charity in here? Daniel John started a charity called heaven for the homeless and he does, uh, makes up kits and things to hand out to the homeless on the streets. Uh, Hey, that's fine. We connected and you answered a couple questions. So if you guys feel drawn to donate to Daniel's uh, charity, please. Uh, that's what he said. <laughs> Daniel, stop. Okay. Uh, now you got me my brain. I'm in the middle of a reading. Okay. Just put your link in here. So let me see, but it's important. There you go. There's his link. So it's very important um, that people that are left on earth understand and know that the two of them found each other. And it's incredible. Okay. Um, and they went back to whatever age. Never mind, Daniel, John, whatever. Um and they went back to the age where they actually fell in love. Because you know what? And this is so cool that they come through to say this. You can be any age you want on the other side. 
So, you know, that was such a monumental connection that when they met, that that's what they're showing me. They went back to that age and that's what they are right now. So yes, if anyone's thinking, um, I don't know, they're talking about you're trying to make a change. You're trying to step into something new. One of you or somebody that's near within the family is trying to start something new. He is tell it, and this is the the male. He's telling me to tell you, don't give up. Don't give up on that new thing that you're starting, that new project, that new life, that new job, whatever that is. You are starting something new, and he's saying, don't give up. There, I, I sense they're talking about some frustration. Let it be. Let it be. Ooh. There's the Beatles. Let it be. Let it be. Don't give up. Uh, oh, yes. He's saying you've come this far. Um, yeah, you can go. Yeah, you can go on, on live on Facebook, Amanda. Contemplating a necessary change in my relationship. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. I'll thank you. Follow your heart. This new change that you want to do, if you make that decision that you need to move on from that relationship, he's saying don't give up on your decision. Don't give up on your dreams. Ah, Edie, also, I talked to him at night about being afraid to start and failing. No, no, honey. No, 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 sweethearts. Both of you. Don't give up on you. I'm not talking about relationships. I'm talking about you. Don't give up on you. Okay. If you feel, and I'm never going to tell somebody what to do. That's, and he's not telling anyone what to do. He's just saying, follow your heart and don't give up on you. Don't give up on you. What? Cause he's saying you're stepping into something brand new. That's what he said. Ah, uh, love the Beatles. So, he's the one that told me, you're starting something new. Don't give up on that. Okay? Don't forget you. That's right, don't give up. And I'm not saying that he's saying don't give up on the relationship. I'm not, I'm telling you what he's, you understand that. Okay, follow your heart. Follow your heart. Your heart will never steer you wrong, sweetheart. Okay? This is coming from him. So let me see if he's got anything else. Um, what is that? Is it? Is there... Uh, what's his name? Farrell? Uh, something Farrell? There's a song about being happy. What's the song, guys? Come along if you... Happiness is to you, cause, oh, cause I'm happy, come, okay, so it's that feral, will, I don't know, not will, oh my god, how did I say that, it's a feral song about being happy, he's singing that song right now, okay, feral, thank you, you guys, go play that song, it's called happy, yes, go play that song, he's, I don't know that he's singing it, but he's showing me that song, um, Okay, Farrell Williams, thank you. I was just like, oh my God, I, I know who he is. I just forgot. Um, and, and one of you said, are you there watching over me? And he's saying 100% for whatever, it's either Aaron or Edie, maybe it's both. I watch over you 100%, like I am there, I have your back, okay? Um... Uh, It was your boss's ringtone for years. <laughs> hey, that's another validation for you. That is so funny. Okay. Now, they are stepping back. I think the main thing was for that you guys to know that they are well. They are watching over you 100%. Did you hear that? 100%. Uh, yes. I, okay. I will. I'll say it. You're not going to fail. 
you're not going to fail. That's for both of you. You are not going to fail. Had to say that again so you heard. Thank you to Aaron and Edie for popping in. Um, it was incredible to see two people. I mean, they were like almost one person. Thank you for sharing. It's like they popped in and I was like, oh my God, is it male? Is it female? I'm getting both. And I'm, I very rarely have that. It's so cute to see two people show up together. So anyway, thank you guys for that. Before Paul says for me to drink water. For those of you who got here late, oh, some of you, it's morning already. Guys, this is my big one. I brought out the big guns. Let's do this for those who are here. to block another troll. My goodness. Oh, Jeff! Is that your mom? Guys, what did you think of that? Isn't that an incredible bowl? Isn't that incredible? Thank you, guys. Yep, I, I uh, blocked somebody. Let's see if there's anyone else. Nope, I blocked that person. My, my, they're busy tonight. Oh my God, I always ask him if he's here watching over me. I had a dream we were talking one night only to watch, uh, look up and see a glimpse of him hitting my, sitting on my bed. There's your validation, sweetheart. He's like, tell her, yes, yes, I'm there. Okay, now, whoo, wasn't that an incredible Tibet bowl? Whoo, okay. All right, now, um, did I already do the age groups, guys? Did I, that, is that your meditation bell tone? Woo! All right, go, those that have been here for a bit, did I already do the groups? Did I already do the groups? And you guys are welcome for Welcome, welcome, welcome. No, I did not. No, I haven't. All right. Guys, I'm going to do age groups. I'm going to do 18 to 30. I'm going to do 31 to 50. I'm going to do 51 to 70. And I'm going to do 71 up. That way, everyone is guaranteed to get a card. All right? All right. So if you, and you have to be 18. You guys can be in here, but you have to be 18 right so for 18 and 18 to 30 here is your card treat yourself go out and treat yourself go have some kind of fun go to i wouldn't go to dairy queen oh i shouldn't whatever go to some place where there's real ice cream i'm so bad do something fun you know what? I almost went bowling. I mean, but I went to go listen to music instead of bowling. That place was packed. Psychedelic lights. Anyway, treat yourself. Go buy yourself flowers. Buy yourself some chocolate. Go get yourself a movie. Get popcorn. Sit down and enjoy it. That is 18 to 30. 31 to 50 is your, here's your card. Uh, is it okay to share a link to another group? No, we don't do that in here. I don't do that in other people's lives, and so we don't really do it here either. 31 to 50. Solar plexus. This is the, this one's called the third chakra. 31 to 50. Guys, you're highly, highly in tune with that internal GPS. Those of you that are 31 to 50, pay attention. Your internal GPS, that gut, is talking to you. You're highly intuitive, highly in tune. They're asking me to ask you, why are you guys not paying attention to that gut? Okay? 
Yeah, treat yourself, youngins, before your knees start hurting. <laughs> All right, 51 to 70. It's always solar plexus for you, Jeff. Wow, interesting. Maybe you need to trust that a little bit more. So, 51 to 70. This is in my age group. Let's see, 51. It Was that the same card that I pulled for 31 to 50 in TikTok? Really? Wow, 51 to 70. Guidance. We, I'm going to say because I'm in that age group, we have all the guidance we need. We just need to ask. We have our guides. We have our angels. We even have our loved ones helping us. We have all the guidance backing us that we need. Why are we not utilizing that guidance more? And I'm, I'm right there. I'm right there. We have all the guidance. We need to start asking. Asking for that guidance. 71 on up. This is for you. 71 on up. This is for you. Be open. Just be open. What was the last card? I don't remember. I just... Um, when, I, when I'm done, I put the cards away and... Uh, guidance. The last card was guidance. We have all the guidance that we need. Pay attention to the guidance. Okay? So, be open. Look at how this beautiful tree flows with the wind. It goes with the flow. It's allowing itself to be open with the wind. It's not rigid and cracking and breaking in half. So, for those of you 71 on up, Hi, Jeff's mom. Oh, I love meeting people's moms. Hi, mom. Be open please be open you, you know a lot of cards that come up for that 71 and up age group people are starting to do something new at that age okay so just do it be open be open okay guys um i am going to pull a couple of cards you guys have to be 18 by giving me your name and your age you are giving me permission to pull a card for you. Can you guys hear my music? I had to lower it because I'm so freaking loud. Um, so that there's always a delay in the news feed. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. And I want to say something, guys. If I didn't call your name, but you resonate with the card, like your whole body reverberates to that card, claim it. Because that happens a lot. Okay? Devin, who is 32. Devin, who is 32. Devin, who is 32. Sixth chakra, the third eye. Devin, I don't know if you do psychic work or if possibly you are awakening to your own spiritual gifts. This is the third eye, okay? This is the sixth chakra. When our third eye begins to open, we connect with that psychic part of us. And yes, we are all born with psychic gifts. Not everyone develops those. So you are in this process of either, I think if it's just starting to happen, trust that you are awakening. Sometimes spiritual awakenings can be crazy. Um, I'm going to be posting a video on my Facebook about a video that I <laughs> shared on TikTok about awakening. But trust that that you've been told that and I hear spirit from time to time. Okay. I believe that your third eye is working its way to be more open. Okay? So trust that that's happening for you. And perhaps practice some meditation. Um, do some journaling. Start communicating with your guides and angels. Okay? Felt very strong to pull you a card. Um, okay, let me see who else I'm drawn to. Just a minute. 
I know, Barbara, you're not old. You're not old. You're not old. Barbara Meyer Brown, I am going to pull you a card, and you are not old. I'm, I'm not going to be old. I'm never going to be old. Never, never, never. Barbara Meyer. This happens a lot in, in our age group. Birth. Something new is coming for you, and I know it's not a baby. Don't freak out. <laughs> I just, <laughs> you're giving birth to something that's new in your life. A new project. Or there may be, that's right, Amanda, young forever. Or there may be a new baby coming in the family. I don't know that. That's a possibility. Birth. Something new for you. You're welcome, Devin. You're very, very welcome. Um, so, Barbara, are you thinking about doing, starting a new project, sweetie? Something new is coming, and it could very well be a new grandbaby. I don't know. They're just, that's the birth card. I felt drawn to pull that for you. You keep tapping the screen like it's TikTok. Oh, you guys. That's funny. All right, Scott. I saw the name Scott, and I was drawn to Scott. <laughs> Another Biola in here. Wow. Scott, I have a card for you. Adventure. Scott, take the, it's Scott Richardson, yes. Take the adventure. If there is something that you've been putting off, for whatever reason, we know COVID stopped all of us. You're, you're on, you're on the path for a new adventure. I don't know what that is. Could be a new job. It could be a new relationship. Um, could be a trip that you've been putting off. Take the trip, if that's the case, Scott. Adventure. It is time for some adventure. Okay? Trinity. I love that name. Trinity. Isn't that a beautiful name? Trinity. Oh, Paul. Yeah, guys. Paul and Lisa got me this shirt that came in the mail. No spammy the pammy. <laughs> You're welcome, Scott. Go do it. Go have a fun adventure. Trinity, let's see what we have for you. Trinity, Trinity, Trinity. Whoa. Uh-oh. Two popped out. Two. I got to take both because they popped out together. The first one is Earth earth it's about going back out in nature preferably near a bunch of trees where i'm seeing a lot of green grass i'm seeing a lot of trees <clears throat> getting out and being a part of that mother nature okay i know that you do get out and do this but this is kind of a different place this is oh gotcha gotcha okay here we go yes Here's your second card, detachment. Detachment. So, maybe what it's about is spending that quiet time by yourself, being out somewhere out in nature, somewhere uh, by yourself, working on detaching from something that no longer serves you. Sometimes we have to go out, like that's what I do. I go out on, on out in nature, think about what it is that I'm supposed to be dealing with. Could be an old idea that's outdated. Could be, you know, somebody from your past. Uh, you know, it could be food. It could be anything. You know what it is. You hear that and feel that. So there's detachment, going out, being in earth. You know what, what I try to do, I try to sit as close to a tree as I can while I'm dealing with that. So you know what the message is. You got two cards and that's important. 
I mean, I'm not saying you can't go out and be with a group of people in, on this adventure, but find a spot for you to be by yourself. And that, and if any of you else can resonate, Amanda just said, did a nature walk today with your dogs? It's important. It's 100% work. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right. Uh, Lava Lee. Lava Lee. Pull a card for you. Yeah, it is good for clearing energy. That's right, Scott. It is. I take my shoes off and stick my feet in the grass. Lava Lee. Well, 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 well. You got the same card. The same card. Go out in nature. Some place that you can actually see a lot. 50 minutes. Thank you, Paul. Woo, 50 minutes already. Oh, my gosh. Um, I, and this may relate to a whole bunch of people in the room. Okay, guys, just so you know. Go out. Find that tree. Find that grass. Some place that you can actually just go and hang out. Um, you know, it's a good place you can go and let things go when you're out in nature. Um, I've met some ladies here that they go kayaking all the time. And I'm like, I don't have one yet, but I'm going to try to rent one and see if it's something I want to do. I think I'm going to love it. Trees, water, grass. Okay. Um, Angie, who is 42. Angie, who is 42. If you guys aren't following me on TikTok, I am Psychic Medium Pam Sears on TikTok. Emerging. Emerging. I'm hoping kayaking is going to be my favorite. I'm going to give it a try. Emerging. Uh, yeah, Mercury Retrograde is, is directing us all to nature and to regroup. This has been a rough one, and I started having issues in the shadow period of the retrograde. So there's a new you emerging. Look at that. Breathe. Allow. Um, oh, thank you, guys. I, I, I've been known as the lady with the pink glasses. The no spammy, the pammy, <laughs> and her pink glasses. A new you is ready to emerge. Just say thanks and just allow it to happen, okay? I'm going to be on for just a little bit longer, guys. I try not to go over an hour if I can. I've already been on TikTok um, live earlier to the earlier today I was on my TikTok. So the, yeah, if you guys want, come follow me. The Jeff Lauren is in here. Well, a lot of my mods are in here right now. Um, all of my mods that are on my TikTok, can you guys do a wavy? I know they're not mods here. Uh, you're welcome, Scott. You're very, very welcome. So all of my mods that are in here from TikTok, give a wave so that everybody knows so they can go follow you on TikTok. Um, Pam Sears Psychic Medium, I mean, Psychic Medium Pam Sears on TikTok. There you go. There's Amanda. Who else is in here? There's Paul. Everybody that's doing a wave, those are my mods on TikTok. Amy, who is 42. Amy, who is 42. Jennifer, my sweet. Jennifer, my sweet. All right, Amy, who's 42. Welcome, my sweet Jennifer. So glad I got to see you recently. Amy, who is 42. You are being reminded to play, my dear. Play. It is time to go play. All work and no play. If any of you uh, else can resonate with this, Take the card and go do it. Welcome, all you new people. Welcome, welcome. There's another one of my mods, Lisa Warren. Follow her on TikTok. She's under, um, well, it's, it's Embalmer on, okay, all my mods on TikTok. Put your user handles here in the chat, please. 
I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, ah, ah, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right. Now, Jennifer, are you still here? You popped in. Jennifer. There you go, guys. There's their usernames. Jennifer Underwood. Are you still in the room? I have a card for you, Jennifer. Oop, I have two cards for you, Jennifer, that just popped out. Jennifer Underwood, you better still be in here. Usually the, the chat goes really, really slow. Jennifer Underwood, are you in there? You're welcome. You're very, very welcome. The chat goes slow. I'm only going to be on for a couple of minutes, guys. Jennifer Underwood, are you in the house? I'm just seeing she might have popped in and popped out. While I'm waiting to see if she answers me, Pearl, I have a card for you. Pearl, there's a new you emerging. A new you emerging. Look at that. There is a new you. You've earned it. You've earned the right for this expansion. You don't see her? Yeah, she might have popped in and popped out. The sweetheart that she is. Um... Emerging, emerging, emerging. Okay, guys, um, I am going to pull a final collective for all of us, okay? Fo this will be something to focus on for the whole week, okay? The whole week. I don't have any more spirits coming in. Um, this is a collective for us to focus on all week. You're welcome, Pearl. Look at that. Pearl got the card, and now all of us. This is a collective, except that we are emerging into um, who we really, truly are. Allow it. Be authentic. Stay authentic, please. Emerging. Allow. Allow that part of us. Um, allow that. Allow that part of us to expand, okay? Guys. Thank you for coming on. Um, I will try to be back next Monday. I've been trying to do this. I, at some point, I'm going to do a live, co-live on TikTok and, and Facebook at the same time. God help me. But people are doing it. Daniel John did it. So I'll have a computer screen, the phone, and I will be live on both places. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Anyway, guys, I love you all. Thank you for being supportive. Um, I love each and every one of you and have a beautiful, beautiful week coming up.